far as the Democrat Joe Biden, the uh, GOP has a clock running on their website counting the minutes since Republicans first called on Biden to release his earmarks over nine days and 23 hours. Uh, he has uh, he's released his earmarks for this year, but not previous. Uh, where does Joe Biden stand on earmarks? Well, Joe Biden also has been uh, an, an active participant in the earmark uh, game. Just this year alone, he disclosed that he's requested $342 million in earmarks. And what the McCain campaign, the GOP, is asking for is a more fulsome list. He's been in, uh, in Congress since, I think, 1972, and they're asking for a list dating back over those three decades his entire list of earmark requests, which, which uh, presumably would be much higher than the $342 million that he's acknowledged just this year alone. And it's so interesting because just this uh, past week, the Washington Times wrote that in March, when Mr. Obama released his 2005 and 2006 earmarks requests, his, his communications director called on then-rival Senator Hillary Clinton to do the same. If Senator Clinton will not agree to join Senator Obama in releasing her earmark requests, Voters should ask why she doesn't believe they have the right to know. So, Jim, why doesn't the Obama campaign believe voters have a right to know about Joe Biden? <laughs> Uh, you know, I think it's, it may be a uh, legitimate question to ask. I don't know uh, if, if uh, they, you know, any, any of these folks should be throwing stones. I will say, however, that uh, Senator McCain has always said that he's, that he's never asked for any earmarks. And one of the major nonprofit groups that looks at earmarks took a look at a, at a list that the Obama campaign prepared on some I'll call them alleged requests back from the early 90s and could find kind of no compelling evidence that McCain had ever requested or received any earmarks for his state. NBC's Jim Popkin. Now, Jim, uh, thanks for coming on. Great stuff as always. We appreciate it.